It's great to be here in the wonderful Wales Millennium Centre and nowhere could be more fitting uh, as a place than to think about and to celebrate Patty Flynn's life, career and now the recognition that she will have through the Purple Plaque Scheme. But the first time uh, I ever spoke to Patty was uh, as a musician. And what could be a better place than to be unveiling the purple plaque we're here to celebrate today? A friend of mine, Jeff Goldblum, you know the actor Jeff Goldblum? He, um, he plays piano in a band it's called the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra. He said, why don't you come up and uh, sing a song? So the night went on and he called, I might call a lovely lady from Wales of Patty Flynn. Um, and so she came, I know what she's like, took her time. <laughs> and, you know, sorted up to the stage and around the whole orchestra behind her, everywhere. And he goes, all right guys, summertime indeed. He said, oh, I'll stop you there, darling. <laughs> I'll tell you what key is going to She was funny, you know, she just, she just moved through life and people just got out of the way. And, uh, and it's uh, hilarious. It's a massive honour for our family and a greater honour for Patty. She'd be over the moon. So obviously she was born in Tiger Bay and she was a Cardiff Bay girl. So having it here means an awful lot to us and I know she'd be looking down and loving it that she's here as well. So Patty Flynn to me is a real Cardiff legend. A legend of Butte Town and the docks. Always proud of that as she achieved a tremendous amount in her life. It's a pleasure to be here at this event to make sure she's remembered for a long time to come. You know, one of the great things about the purple plaques is that, you know, when if you go into a town, if you see a building, you suddenly see this purple plaque. And you think of, and people say, oh, that's interesting, what, what's that? And then you go to it and you see remarkable women of Wales. Just think of the thousands of people who are going to come through these doors and then they're going to be pointed at that plaque. And all the children, the generations, everyone coming together and saying, oh, she sounds interesting. The history, you've got to look forward to what this plaque will mean. It's not just the wonderful enjoyment we're having today in this ceremony, it's actually for the future. I always remember going to the first opening of the monument that she campaigned for for 27 years to remember the black servicemen who died in the world wars. And that was her great campaign. So she was um, a woman of such huge talents. We've heard all about Patty and what she stood for. Um, and I think it's so important that we tell her story and other stories like that across Wales, where women made a real difference. She never took no for an answer, did Patty. That was so symbolic of, of other women that we've, we've recognised in this. They, they yeah, just campaign and go on for things that they believe in. And that's a really important message for everybody. She was a role model for all of us. She was a singer, artist, campaigner, beautiful mother. She's left an um, everlasting impression and I would always think of her as a role model. Um, I just didn't, I had no idea it was um, going to be turned into the, the monster that it's turned into. It was a simple idea that mum have a, a plaque from her accomplishments, but uh, as you can see from this evening, how much she meant to so many people. And I think that's what it, that's what I take away with me, you know. Her influence on other people's lives, you know. And, uh, and she lives on through that. She lives on through her influence. Everyone she's touched, everyone she's influenced, everyone she's helped. If anyone, anyone was in need, she'd jump on the bus and she'd be down there and she'd be seeing them. So, uh, wonderful woman, wonderful woman.